Hey everyone, here's the uh, salad bar LED video update and you'll notice there's no more kale here. Let me grab the camera. So the kale I've taken outside and as I mentioned in one of the other videos this week, I planted it out in the garden boxes but I can't really show that to you this week because we got three inches of snow yesterday. And uh, it's, you know, that time of year where we sometimes get a little bit of a late snow. It's the 5th of February, so. But anyway, so now these trays are the ones that used to be in the salad bar or not in the, uh, the mid-sized tent right there up on the top shelf but they weren't growing very well so I decided to move them over here and try my hand growing them underneath these lights a little closer a little brighter light and uh, they have germinated but when I put them in here you remember may remember I had the seed space like you know every so often and one in the middle but when I watered it that first time I got a little heavy on the watering so some of the seeds kind of I guess floated to the edges so we've got some seeds that are germinating around and then uh, over here there's some and then I put two seeds in this tray I went ahead and put an extra set of seeds in because they weren't germinating yet so then after I watered them now I've got them popping up all over in weird areas so there's multiple seeds and then I took this one and I wanted to try seeing if they would do better growing in little uh, individual pots so I seeded these two days ago and then I want to let these grow and there's one seed per cell and I did every other cell so that way I would give them enough room to grow their heads. But uh, it's just kind of an experiment, just something to try. I'll end up probably, you know, I've got these, these are the, uh, the pelleted style of uh, spread neck seed. So I may end up putting some of these in the uh, upper, let's see, out, outside garden deck beds. So the ones that are the red boxes that we've got on our, our lower deck. I'll probably end up putting some of those in there and uh, letting them grow and see how they do out there this spring because it'll be a nice easy thing to transition because right now there's the uh, the cabbage that we're harvesting off and then when those are all gone we're just going to have the uh, the garlic uh, chives and then some of the onions that are in there and then uh, I'll put some of those lettuce for early spring let those grow harvest those and then I don't know what else we'll put inside those boxes this year but it's always an adventure all right guys this has been Brian from P&B Homesteading talk to you again bye